Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Louisville, Kentucky with the fraud that are known as For Public Safety. As he attempts to get his own way, but ends up really butthurt and throwing a temper tantrum because nobody wants to really pay attention to his sorry ass. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, guys? For Public Safety and Official Misconduct with you again. We are at the Louisville Metro Division Headquarters, where they keep the chief. Because that's who we want to talk to, is the chief. Good luck ever getting an appointment set with the chief because they're not going to do that for us. So we're going to go in here and pretty much demand that we get some answers or at least an appointment. We'll see what happens. Well, most of this video is just him waiting on the uh, chief and getting more and more impatient as time goes along. I mean, the guy doesn't exactly know how to make an appointment with the chief, so he wants to take it out on everybody else but himself. So let's carry on with the show. Hello. Hey, hey we meet again. Sorry about that. Um, I was trying to track down Yolanda. She's the chief's assistant, so she okay. keeps up the schedule and everything. Okay. She's just finishing up a meeting, so if you want to hang out for a bit, um, okay. I was able to text her while she was in there and okay. let her know you're down here. That you, you know, Yolanda came out last time, and she seemed like she didn't really know much about the kind of stuff that we bring to the table. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily yeah. expect to speak directly with the chief today. Okay. Right? But I expect right. to speak with someone's supervision under the chief, that right. high and staff, to handle what's going on with the LMPD right now that we were able to show. Because I do not trust PIU. Okay. I don't even trust Yolanda after our last meeting with her. Well, Yolanda is a very busy woman because she has a police department to run. And she can't be bothered to see morons like you who think they know everything because well it doesn't help her get her job done so she's got to prioritize these things now she may give you a little bit of her time but not every single little solitary second she has available to her but of course watching your videos i understand that uh well, you don't tolerate that kind of thing. You want to be the center of attention, which is why you're going to try to barge your way through that door here in the next few minutes. So let's go ahead and skip on to that part, shall we? 15 minutes later. So we've been, I don't know, what, 30 minutes now, Tiff? So it's time to let the LMPD get a taste of their medicine. This is what they do to people when they want them to answer. I kid you not, this went on for five or six minutes of continuous knocking. I couldn't stand it, so I just scrubbed right through it on Caden Live just to see how long it took. And it was nothing but a continuous pounding on the door. What a freaking douche canoe. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to where there is another interaction other than knocking. So let's carry on, shall we? Public, open up! I know. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is government business, right? Public trying to do business with their government. It's constitutional freedom under the First Amendment to redress a grievance mm -hmm. with this appropriate staff. The person that they have delegated to that staff is Yolanda Baker. And she was the little bitch that walked by us three times who came out of the meeting that was upstairs in the training, which she should not be involved in, walked right past us and ignored us. What gives you the freaking right to dictate what meetings she can be in and what meetings she can't be in? This is her department. She runs it. She'll be in any meeting she damn well sees fit to be in. Need police officers now. There's been a crime afoot. Wow. 
So this idiot decides that he's had enough of standing around and trying to get them to come out. So he goes outside to look for an officer, finds one, and brings him in to tell him that he can't get any service and that he's getting upset. Well, let's go ahead and see if this officer soothes this crybaby's nerves. So let's continue on, shall we? She came out of that door ten minutes later, walked right by us three times. And now watch this, sir. Thank you. Yeah, because we've been doing that for about 10 minutes. Okay. That's the problem, right? That's obstruction. They're stopping us from doing our administrative business. Okay. Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nope, it's not obstruction when it comes to uh, delaying the events of a frauditor's day. Uh, you got that all wrong, dude. In fact, nobody really cares if you get your duties done or not, dude, because in the long run, you're not all that important to anybody. But let's carry on with the show and see what this crybaby can get into next. Well, they also have daily duties, so... Well, no, they, we've been waiting and she's walked past us. Okay. Well, you're looking for Miss Baker, correct? Well, apparently that's what they told us. What we okay. really want is a meeting with the chief because we have information that the chief absolutely desperately needs about specific LMPD employees. Okay, give me just a second. It's okay. super important, brother. Okay. Give me just. <laughs> they locked her down, buddy. Well, dude, you were trying to break through that window as many times as you were knocking on it. So, of course, they would secure the place because they don't know who the hell you are. The, or they know who you are and they just don't want you in there because they know from your history that you will be causing problems. Such as what's about to happen with this Amazon delivery driver that comes up here in a second. So, let's carry on with that and get on with the show. But they ain't been answering it for us, man. We've been out here for about 45 minutes. No shit. Yeah. What are you doing? It won't open. You can try it. There's somebody coming. Hello. Hey, you got some packages? Yeah, I have okay. four of them. Come on. Just bring them here? Yep. Okay, now us. Now us. Hey, now door. us. Close this door. Stay well. Now us. Stay well. Close the door. You know Close me. the door. Keep your hands off Get of off me. Get the door. I'm here to report. Yes, yeah, still will. Help. We just want to do our still well. work. Still will. He won't. He keeps opening the door. I need help. Get out. No. No. Get off my foot. No. Ah, the foot in the door method. I mean... The, the shame that that never really works out for you, frauditors. I haven't heard any lawsuits come through where you've left your foot in the door and got injured because, well, they get, your foot got slammed in the door and that's your own damn fault. Get off my foot. Yeah. You can't. You got to move. No, I don't. You yes, you do. do. Go. No, I don't. Go. Listen, listen. Do I don't have to move. You have to close the door. Come on. Don't get your, hand, get your hands off me, bro. Get your hands off me. You're a stupid fucking What is that? This is a closed I'm, area. No, no I'm not in that area. It's a closed area. Would you, you put your hands on me? Yes, because it's a closed area. No, you just violated my you rights. You dumb. Listen, fuck. you don't touch me and push uh, me in walls. This is a closed area. Who do you think you are? Tyrannical Yolanda, I need to make a report about cops assaulting citizens. Well, you want to file a complaint about so-called assaults on the civilian populace? Uh, what about you, uh... Assaulting the cops just now when you're trying to barge your way into a secure area, you moron. Touch it! Ow! Ow! It's a foot, bro! No! Come on. All she has to do is set up a meeting. That is. I'm not in there. She has to set up a meeting. That's it. That's a job. That's her duty. It's obstruction. Listen. Listen. We can help you all with that, but you can't. You just the fucking area. insulted no. me. No, I did not insult you. You just insulted me, dude. No. You, you no. saying the words I did not doesn't mean you did not.
Well, this confrontation carries on for a while longer, but I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing. So let's carry on to the uh, last part of the video where they have a little bit of a complaint. But you know what? It's going to fall on deaf ears anyway because, well, they're a couple of douche canoe morons. As usual. And I'm getting sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. So for those who think that I'm doing that on purpose to get content for the channel, of course it's content for the channel. But do I want to get hurt because I'm trying to hold a door open to put in the meeting? We want no. them to listen. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want them to put their hands on me. I don't care about if it gives us just big, huge view numbers on videos. I really just want an appointment with the chief because that, to me, would be a better video. Love you guys. See you on the next one. Hey, I got an original idea. If you actually wanted to see the police chief, and well, you could actually go get an appointment, an actual appointment, instead of acting like a pair of delusional morons. But hey, after watching that Fraud or Troll live stream where you made an appearance, I don't think that'd be even possible anyway, because... You would just throw out a bunch of gibberish anyway, and uh, you wouldn't be able to hold your own even against the uh, chief of police. She'd probably have you kicked out anyway. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.